congratulations on the purchase of your Titan 12. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set it up. To start off setting up your Titan 12, find a nice level spot, put down the jockey wheel, make sure it's locked in so the pins go into place and then raise the front from the jockey wheel, unhitch it and then lower it back down until your spirit level bubble shows that the trailer is actually level in a north-south direction. Make sure the handbrake's applied and applied firmly and if you're on a bit of an incline, make sure you chock the wheels so the trailer can't move. Next step is to put your stabiliser legs down. To do that, grab the handle here, take a little weight off the leg, drop it down and give it a wiggle, make sure it locks into place and the handle goes back in. Your trailer will come with one of these, a brace with a 19mm socket on the end. Place it on the hex drive. Wind your stabiliser down. Now you can slightly level your trailer using these, but they're not a lifting jack, so you can't raise the whole weight of the trailer, otherwise you'll end up breaking the shear pin or one of the bevel gears. So just adjust them down, check your levels again, and put them down in all four corners. To set up the shower toilet room, you need to open up the spare wheel carrier. First, we undo this latch and raise the pad bolt out of the way up here on the corner. That actually locks into position, so should the other latch come apart, this can't open. Now we unlatch it, pull the spare out of the way. There's two positions you can leave this in. You can leave it 90 degrees and lock this pin in, or you can move it right out of the way and lock it in there. Now to open up the shower room, remove our little linch pins from the over center latches. Undo those and simply lift the roof up. There's our shower tent. Simply just a matter of pegging it out, inserting the floor, then you can have your showers or put your portable toilet in there. The first step in raising the roof is to undo these over center latches. When you get your trailer, they'll each have a little linch pin locking this in so they can't rattle open regardless. Simply raise it up, unhook it. Now you need to do that at all four corners. There's one of these latch at every corner of the trailer. Undo all four, now it can get inside and raise the roof. To open the step, which is electric, what you need to do is switch on the accessory switch up here on power board, and just down on the left is a switch to operate the electric step. That simple, our step's out. Raising the roof is very simple. Grab the bar, lift, put it in position, and just turn the little silver latch across, and that will hold it up in place. Do that both ends. To switch on the 12 volt power in your Titan 12, simply open up this panel on the back driver side of the trailer, reach in and turn the big red isolation switch to the right and you'll see the green background showing. Once your gas is connected and you're ready to fire up your Truma hot water system, you need to remove this cover here. Grab it, pull it back and take it off. Now it's ready to fire up the Truma from the inside on the switch. To set up the awning, you'll need to grab this. This is your winder for the rollout awning. It is the Armstrong method. It may require a little bit of work, but it is definitely reliable. To extend this, twist this little black knob, lengthen it, and lock it back in. On the end is a little brass T, which fits into a slot at the end of the awning so you can wind it in and out. Now we get the legs out from behind the fascia 
and put them down and peg them in. To release the leg from its captive position, grab this little latch here and pull it across. Now we can bend our leg down. Now we slide our leg down, lift our little tab up here and lock it in position, then do the other side. Now with this awning, when you're on the grass, you'll need to peg it down. So grab a couple of pegs, put it in on the feet where there's two holes to do so on each foot and your awning's set to go. When setting up the kitchen on your Titan 12, this is where everything is. Your gas fitting, your bayonet receiver, is here behind this hatch, just towards the front of the camper from the kitchen. And our water connections are here. Just remove the dust covers. And keep in mind, that the left hand fitting is the hot water and the right hand fitting is the cold water. So open up our hatch door and to pull the kitchen out, grab the handle, press the blue lever down and pull it out into place. That'll lock into place there. Now we can open up our extension. Now the extension supports have got a pin either side and you need to locate them in the holes on the end of the kitchen that are there for them. Once those are in place we can connect up our gas and our water. Run your hoses for your water and your gas out of the relief hole underneath the kitchen which is just to the side of the sink. Now. The one marked in red is our hot water. The other one is our cold water. Pop them in there like that and grab our gas bayonet. Now this has a little catch on it. So you line up the slots with the little tabs, push the bayonet in and turn it to the right. That's now connected. So you can turn your gas on and use your cooker. In your Titan 12, it's fitted with a Red Arc BMS 30 system. This is a great piece of electronics. It is very, very smart. It'll manage your solar and your batteries to absolute optimum. It is premium equipment. However, there are some idiosyncrasies that you need to know when operating it, such as when you're storing your trailer, it has a storage mode. There are other items if your battery voltage drops below a certain level, the system simply won't charge it from plugging in the 240 volt power. So you must read the manual for the Red Arc BMS 30 that will come with your trailer and understand how to get the best out of the unit. And that folks is how you set up the Titan 12.